Now, fortunately for us, we've already been in the area where the Blackwater Mine is, so I just fast traveled for free to the exterior of the White Spring. So go ahead and scavenge. Don't forget your protection. So from here, we're just going to walk over to the Blackwater Mime. No reason to waste an extra cap or two, because it's right behind the train station. Now again, Blackwater Mine is an awesome spot for the fact that it has a free decontamination chamber. Ooh, I thought he was already injured. But be very careful you don't uh, tick off the bots at the White Spring because they will all turn on you. Unless, of course, that's your deal. Don't remember if there's something here. Most power stations have enemies within them. Another feature of the Blackwater Mine is that it has a chance to spawn power armor. If I remember correctly, one of these rock faces has ore in it. I may be mistaken, though. I might be thinking of another train station. It has a rock wall nearby. Okay then. Doesn't look like there's anything in the power armor station. I know you're in there. You know I'm out here. Come get some. You upstairs? Or no. Oh, looky there. Nuke mine. Now, mind you, just because you know the plan doesn't mean you're going to be able to make it off the bat. I'm pretty sure you have to have uh, some kind of demolitions expertise. To build that. Hey, look, a miner's key. Now, you can't mass get a miner's key. And it's going to show you a random location. In this case, it's Belching Betty. That's going to unlock 
a minor locker somewhere. Um, you can go farm for it if you want, but any miner's locker that you come across, the key will work on. So I just wait until I come across one. But now we're going to head into the Blackwater Mine. Okay, I have a respirator on my power armor. So, First thing when you're going to do in here is you're going to get on this terminal. From here you're going to go into Freddy's logs and go to help. So the next thing you're going to do, go ahead and scavenge a few items and hit the decontamination chamber if you need it. Some kind of enemies about. Could be mongrels, in this case, it's plague rats, or rad rats, or whatever you want to call them. Now, this is going to be one of those levels where, yet again, you will be very over encumbered because the mole miners like to drop a lot of good stuff. And you're going to want to take all of it. Now, you can go this way, but it is not suggested. It is highly radiated. If I remember correctly, it just leads to pretty much a dead end. So yeah, let's go ahead and Yeah, because this is well hello. Someone left a power armor chassis. Uh this is part of a public event that can happen here. So if you need to You can scrap things and then stash them because there's a my stash here. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, double barrel and I can just make myself a new one when I hit 25 I'm not entirely sure I have anything good but let's see if we can go ahead and upgrade the combat shoddy Yeah, well, 
I mean, there's that's that's nice. But we really don't have much unlocked for it. And when we hit 25 anyway, we're switching weapons. So let's just go ahead and scrap it. Now you may be asking yourself, well, why in the world are you even bothering with gathering mods for weapons you're just going to end up not using? Um, I'm the kind of guy that will go through old areas so for example I will go back to Morgantown Airport and whatnot and a lot of the weapons that you can find around there will be the level of the area not your level so the benefit of that being I can go find a level 5 hunting rifle give it all the bells and whistles and then set give him an advantage because he hasn't unlocked his gunsmithing perks yet. Or maybe you have a friend that you're introducing to the game he can hand you over his level 1 hunting rifle and you can give it all the bells and whistles until he finds his level 5. You know. It's also part of the collection vibe, you know. You want to be able to have everything, do everything, say you've been everywhere, got the t-shirt, the hat, and the decoder ring, you know. Alright, so now, don't be surprised, they like to pop up out of the nowhere. How are those not in your breather? Now be careful, sometimes there are ones that like to be up top. Seems that someone has already unlocked this gate for us. And now more of them know my position. Oh, and one of them has a rocket launcher. Things can get a little intense down here. And over encumbered. If I remember correctly, there really isn't much in here. There's a little bit of ammo that can show up on the shelf or around the shelf. Alright. So now if we're moving on. Now, sometimes these mole miners are going to be engaged. I like to use that to my advantage because they are taking out Freddy Lang, who we are here to see. And he has now become some kind of glowing one. So either they can take him out for you, or he can do some damage to them for you. It really can go either way. In this case, it seems like they wrecked him. Oh, great. More missile launchers. Alright, 
So where's the other? There's the other one. Just me, or is there another one? Yep, so they took out Freddy. We. That's not good. Fortunately for us, I do believe we can get out of this mess we just fell into. Ah, oh, wrong side. Well, that's funny. You know, I'm not entirely sure I can get out this way either. Well, easy fix. Especially now since everybody should have perished. And a key fragment that we were here for. Now, Rose will not contact us until we get back outside. Oh, cool. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, again, on the other hand, if you don't want to learn stuff, because, like, I'm never going to use the marine armor as far as I know. So, I could have just collected that instead and sold it in my vendor for someone who could use it for themselves. But, at this point... Um, I'm more of a mindset that, well, whenever I get tired of running around in heavy armor and using a heavy weapon, I'll have the option to do something else and change up the build, which is completely within the wheelhouse of possibility. Actually, one of the cooler aspects of this game is, you know, well, here's the build that I got started with, but here's where the build led me. Or at least that's, you know, one of the ideas. So, we're just going to do a little more scavenging in here. And now, this should look somewhat familiar. So we're going to come back this away. Scrap all that stuff again. And then turn over our junk. Anything else that you know is weighing you down needs to go back to camp. And we're going to head back outside.
Now when we get outside, Rose is going to give us our next location to find another fragment. So before you step out into the unknown, might want a little protection. Now we were fortunate enough that we had already been here, so we had fast travel location nearby even that was free. Um, we also have another location we're going to have to head to, already found. I'm trying to remember which one this is because eventually we're also going to need to go to Huntersville. Which I'm pretty sure is this one. I think it is. So, the trappers are here in the Devil's Backbone. What I like to do is fast travel to the uh, National Isolated Radio Array and go south. Of course, you could just uh, hoof it from where you were. I just do this to find uh, a location in between. Always remember to keep yourself fed and hydrated. They're not the greatest boost, but they're still a boost. Now be careful because West Tech is very populated with super mutants. But I just want to deal with them enough to find the location. Really? So we found West Tech. Now you're going to want to... What in the world? 
Okay then. I'm guessing it was dropped by somebody else earlier. That was just weird. Alright, so now... I think it's this road. No. No, we're supposed to be going south. Hold on a second, then... Yeah, we just take this to get up over the ridge. That's what it is. So you're just going to keep following this ridge line. Hey. Aluminum. Always useful. Now, very shortly... Oh, there's a... Blood Eagle Nest. I say we just go around it. But that's completely up to you. If you want to raid them, go ahead. But, um... What was I saying previous to that? Yeah, shortly uh, when we hit level 25 and go get our set of excavator armor. That is... Hey, squirrels. Um, that is... Oh no, not squirrels. And I missed. Really? But one of the benefits to having the excavator armor is if you have both arm pieces from it, uh, then. Wow. Yeah, both arm pieces from it, any of the mining nodes, like what you just saw me get, will actually yield, I think it's triple or quadruple yield. Oh, uh, no. This was probably a really bad idea. Where are you going? Get back here. Come on, don't be scared. And we get back some of our throwing knives. I really like that. He was holding a syringer? Why? But anywho. Sadly, I'm not going to get any of that squirrel meat. He done ate it all. He were hungry. Well, actually, no. She it was a matriarch. Some kind of... Bandit Shrine. Generator. Ah, oh, it's somebody's camp. Cool. So from here, we're trying to find the Trapper's Camp, which I do believe that that's it. Yep. Now, you must be very careful, because if their name was not a clue, the entire camp is trapped. That's one of the reasons I like to come down this ridge line because you will actually go around a lot of the uh, Punjai boards and the uh, mines, the trip wires and what have you, if you come up from this backside. And just stay close to the ridge. There's a good bit of scavenging that can be done in this area. But what you are looking for, specifically... Yum. 
Yummy. Fried mountain chicken. Looking for this note specifically. So that's going to tell you that their key fragment is down in Huntersville. Which is not good news because more super mutants. Now I like to... Oh! Yeah, I like to jump over that wall because normally I don't jump too close to that landmine. This time I did though. Oops, speaking of super moodies. Whoa. They're multiplying. Ha what? I am confusion. Why is that guy taking a swim? And now they're stuck in the road. This is... Okay, are they... I hit like a what now? Really? You lost track of me? Uh, that's great. Alright, so now I am back to the over encumbered. Welcome to the Devil's Backbone. actually have to get up to the other side of that. And sadly we are yet again over encumbered. But you're just gonna follow the road up through the ravine and it should lead you to Huntersville. camp down there. It might be old and deserted from the uh, bandits that had perished earlier. I knew it. I should be careful. Usually floaters aren't alone. guys glitch like why aren't you coming up you guys are glitched well that's not so bad too bad we can't take the power armor helmet I mean I get it you can take the knife though Have been the first one I took out. But now that you're here at Huntersville, beware the super muties.
So now lying in the center of Huntersville is the head trapper who has the key fragment. But be warned, uh, he himself is trapped. So just start taking care of the super mutant menace in town. It was faster than reloading, if you're wondering. And we did get most of them back, too, so... Always a benefit. Not to mention, I've always wanted to try a throwing weapon run, but I just know that it's almost suicide. I don't know who still... So yeah, with a perception of a 2+, plus, you can notice, uh, been tampered with. So as soon as you find the key fragment, you're gonna need to run, or in this case, saunter quickly, and take some cover. Now, I don't recall, but I'm pretty sure that there is no, um, yeah, as far as I know, there is not a workbench nearby here in Huntersville. It's not that I'm aware of. And I'm pretty sure I am too weighed down with weapons to have a scrapper's kit work. Yeah, no. Oh, hey, I level. Now again, I am doing Band Oiler at the moment, but something else might have been unlocked, so that's why I'm looking. Just in case there was something better. Now this is good to have, but I'm not going to grab it until later. Just because... I've only got six more points left in intelligence, and there are a couple of other perks that I'm saving room for. But any power armor build will do very well with that. Now, I've never had Lucky Break work on power armor, so don't waste a perk on it if you're going power armor. But I'll go ahead and waste for Band Oiler. Um, but I am going to try a scrap kit just to see if it'll allow me to fast travel. Nope, I was right. I've got too many weapons. Hmm. 
And honestly, we're one level away from switching the everything up. So, I'm just going to go ahead and drop a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so now that we can fast travel, um, we need to head back to the uh, Sunny Top Ski Resort, which yep, is all the way up here near Fort Atlas. So that's probably where we're going to go first, is fast travel to Fort Atlas and then to the Sunny Top, so we save on some caps. But I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Hopefully you found this informative entertaining and we'll pick up this mission when we get back peace